three left to play in the first quarter. The Texas Longhorns strike pay dirt. And they lead BYU 7 to nothing. We'll be back with more on HSE in just a moment. Michael Bryan about five yards deep. He's going to bring it out. Oh, what a hit at the 21-yard line. There's a scramble. Let's go back to the touchdown now. Stafford, and look at his big center, Alan Champagne. He just bowled Futrell over, didn't he? Well, Champagne, Jaton, and Slee, they are just all kind of what you call a wedge play. They all wedged together and went straight ahead, just enough room for him to dive over the top. On that kickoff, Lee Brockman was the first man in for Texas. So it'll be first down and 10, the ball on the 15-yard line for the Cougars. Running play. Oh, Hager! And eight to go, ball on the 17, BYU. Big rush. Jensen will scramble. He's pretty good. He gets to the 20, drag down at the 21-yard line by Jay Jaquis. Good pick up by Pat Thompson, and he gets that ball to turn over a little bit. Metcalf's going to get some ground. Back at the 30, look out. 45, and he's down to the BYU 45-yard line. Oh, the little water bug. Like Auburn, a little more relaxed right now. Metcalf in motion. Down and out pass to Gabriel Johnson with a 35-yard line. Tony Jones down the lower part. There you get the head-on look that BYU looks at. Going long for the bomb. He's got his man out there, Gabriel Johnson. Boy, he faked out. Then is the tight end, Metcalf in motion. Second down. Oh, wide open is Clark at the 25. Inside the 25 to the 24. The 15, Metcalf in motion. Out to Metcalf. He's got a blocker. And boy, look how quickly that pursuit caught up to him. And the inside, well played. Second down, 14 needed for a first. Stafford, big rush by the Cougars, fumble, and who's going to get it? Reagan Hansen rolls over on top of the football. He missed it, and Darren Norris came up with it. Oh, Hansen almost got it. Flip back to Metcalf. Got some running room. Ducks inside, fumbles. Recovered by J.C. Von Collin. BYU gets the turnover at the Cougar 25-yard line. For me and Rick. Jensen, he's got time, and he's got O'Brien, and Duncan wraps him up. And he might be just shy of the first down, and a flag is thrown late. It may be against Texas. Tackle, but don't make the mistake that gives the team a big first down. He would have forced BYU to punt into that breeze, too. Zayas, good speed, and he gets to about the 45-yard line. Aaron Hanley, the tight end, comes over and sets on the left side. Jensen. Across the middle, has a man open. That's Whittington, Whittingham. David Miles in the game now, along with Chuck Cutler. Second down, three needed. Jensen, quick striker. And he hits Cutler right at the 20-yard line. Six seconds and counting down in the first quarter. Jensen with a handoff. That's O'Brien. Oh, what a hit in the backfield. Brett Hager. No yardage. Jensen going long. Into the end zone, intercepted, out of the end zone. It will not count. Stanley Richard that time played the ball perfectly. And the score is Texas 7, BYU nothing. We'll be back with more Southwest Conference football on HSE. Down 12 needed for the Cougars. The ball on the Texas 22-yard line. Jensen, end zone. He's got a man. Touchdown, BYU. David Miles, the receiver, a senior out of Santa Rosa, California. Take a look at that. Now, watch number 22 come in your picture. Wait, see him trying to recover there? He didn't get there on the recovery. Get it. Jones from the six-yard line. Look out, he's got a lane. Jones falls down at the 48-yard line. Oh, my, can he fly. Jones with a 40-yard return, handoff to Metcalf over the left side, and BYU got great penetration in there. Young freshman. Wide out, catch in BYU territory. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And five yards needed for Texas. Blitz, and Stafford almost lost his head. He lost his helmet, that's for sure. Reagan Hansen 
Hunt doesn't get as much height on it as he'd like, but it takes a Texas bounce. Where will it die? It's inside the five. Yard line at the three. Nine yards. And I wonder what Lavelle Edwards is thinking about right there. He's in deep thought. He'd like to get out of that hole right now. Waits, one of the top punters in the nation. Well, they won't play a conservative backed up like this, though. Look at that Texas defense. In motion comes Miles. Hand off. And that's Peter Tui Pelotu. Now with a knee injury, he'll miss about four games. It's third down, five needed now. BYU, plenty of time by Jensen now. Here come the Longhorns, and he slips and falls at the six-yard line. Paul Bierman. Boy, low pass, and he made an excellent catch. End over end. Metcalf has returning room. Good block. And he gets down to the 42-yard line. Texas needs 12. That's Kerry Cash in motion. Draw play. Norris inside the 40. 35. And he struggles his way down to the 32-yard line. It may be enough for a Texas first down. He's good passing for him. Even Clark in motion. Now Norris had a big hole and struggled through inside the 30 to about the 20. It's up. And it's off to the right. It won't be any good. He's got to move with it. Second down and 12. Jensen, ball tipped at the line of scrimmage. And Hagee was two yards in the game. Third down, 12 needed. Ball on the 24. Jensen down the sideline has a man. Completion across the 40 to the 44-yard line. College football on HSE in just a moment. Metcalf in motion. Stafford looking right. Nothing there. Good scrambler. Here come the Cougars. They're all around him, and I don't know how he got across the 30, but he did before Craig Patterson. Yards per punt tonight. Into a stiff breeze, end over end. Again, O'Brien will let it bounce, and this time it takes a BYU hop. BYU 37-yard line. Akamak almost jumped offside, got back. O'Brien is met with a vicious tackle at the line of scrimmage. Jensen. Well, you won't see that very often. Frequently when he first came in the league. She go back. He goes back. The ball just slips out of his hands. <laughs> Stafford going for the ball. Interception at the 32-yard line. Rodney Rice broke on the football that time. It was intended for Gabriel Johnson, and Rodney Rice did a beautiful job, and he may and hurt himself when he fell to the AstroTurf. He goes back, sets and plants, and then throws the ball, but Johnson really doesn't look like he's expecting it until right at the end. Well, again, the blitz by BYU forced Stafford to unload it earlier than he wanted. 4-12 left to play, first and 10, 32-yard line for BYU. Jensen has his man Whittingham at the 38-yard line, and he's bulldogged out of bounds by John Hagee. Excellent it's artificial soft. surface. Second down, he needs four. He's got the first down, he dropped the football. Bumble, who's got it? Big scramble at the 42. Well, there's enough Texas people there. If they don't get this one. <laughs> Third down, BYU needs four yards. Jensen, under pressure, he'll scramble. He's got the first down and then some, and slides into Texas territory. See a lot of blue skies where they're from in beautiful Provo, Utah. Oh, that's a beautiful area out there. That school sits in a beautiful setting, right down below the mountains. Be out there in short sleeves and look up and see the snow on top of those mountains. Virgil Carter, Gifford Nielsen, Mark Wilson, Jim McMahon, Steve Young, and Robbie Bosco, just to name a few. And so that's pretty good company for Bob Jensen to well, be I, in. I could embarrass someone and say which one of them threw the most interception in his career, but I won't do that to an old friend of ours. You don't think he lives in Houston, do you? We won't say his name. Second down, 10 to go. Jensen now is audibling at the line of scrimmage. Throws across the middle. He's got his receiver inside the Texas 30-yard line. There they are. They're going to come with a blitz this time. 148 left to play in the first half. Jensen on a double punch. Got his man at the five. Turns around. Touchdown. Chuck Cutler with a cute little move. Stanley Richard lost him at the four-yard line. And BYU takes the lead. On the ground, it's a scooter. And it's picked up by Texas across the 30-yard line. Pretty good return, 35 up across the 40, 45, 46-yard line. Stafford now trying to get some points. 
He's got time across the middle. Jones, completion at the 42 inside BYU. First down and 10, ball at the BYU 43. Stafford, plenty of time. A little under pattern. The Metcalf gets the block at the 40, and he's out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Option, Metcalf. Well, a pretty good play by time. And they did the same thing with their other line. Good job right there. He forces the pitch. Now he comes up, even though he misses the tackle, he gives the other people an opportunity to recover. Metcalf can't regain his 34 seconds left to play in the first half. Quick pass to Walker inside the 30. And I thought Rodney Rice played that very intelligently. That on the four, down to three. He kicks it with two seconds left. It's good. He hit that one. Good momentum. Got started in burnt orange colors. Stafford with a handoff to Norris, makes a nice little move, darts to the outside, and 40 yards later, he ends up on the Brigham Young two-yard line. That set up a one-yard touchdown run by Brett Stafford, and Texas gets on the scoreboard first by the score of seven to nothing. A penalty, however, kept the Brigham Young drive alive, and here, Bob Jensen, Hits his receiver in the back of the end zone. That's Miles, David Miles, for the first touchdown. That tied it up at seven, and then a nice little play by number 82, Chuck Cutler, as he twisted around for the second touchdown. And the final play of the first half, it was Wayne Clements for Texas with no time on the scoreboard clock. It's good, and the score, 14 to 10, BYU. So Lavelle Edwards has to be pretty happy right now with the way things have been going for his young football squad. And Texas, David McWilliams would like to get some more scoring punch. More part of your screen. Stafford in the air again. And all over his back is number 33, Thor Solanoa. Now the ball at the 16-yard line. Another big rush. And Stafford is corralled by Richard Hobbs, the 6'5", 220-pound senior out of Shelley, Idaho. That's Mike O'Brien deep. Waits now, punting it's blocked out of the end zone. Safety, BYU, and there's that man Hobbs again. Richard Hobbs with the big play. Well, he just made two big plays in a row there. Makes a sack, and there comes on the, on the punt situation and uh, blocks it and gets a safety. Took an awful long time. There's Hagee on the left part of your screen. Now watch Hobbs come right by him. Hagee doesn't see him. It's too late. He had to come over there. And again, I think a combination. Right. Hagee didn't get there, but I think Jensen. That's Darren Hanley in motion. And he gets the pass play, and he can't hold on to it. Jensen across the middle. He has Hanley overthrows him. For the inside linebacker. Exactly right. Third down. This time he goes open down the sideline. Nice hit. To play third period, Johnson in motion for Texas. They're going to go out to Jones. Look at the little water bug. Needs a block. He's over the 35 to about the 37 field. Flip back. Metcalf going wide. He's got the first and then some. 45 knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line by Scott. Your screen. And it'll be first and 10. Stafford with a quick pass outside. Jones again has to beat a man. Pretty good defensive play there by BYU. Second down, Texas. Norris gets a hole over right guard. He's down to the 40-yard line. Down and 10 for Texas. Stafford looking for Jones. Nothing there. He's got running room if he wants it. He fakes it, but he's going all the way. At the 30 and knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Oh! A bruising tackle by Thor Salanoa and Stafford is down. There he goes, watching right. Boom, Salanoa. Ooh, that's a tough blow there. Wow. I'd have to throw a flag on that one. That'd be awful close. But he's up coming off the field on his own. He's all right, though. I just can't imagine that referee standing right there looking at that. Uh, Norris in the backfield quick pass by Stafford he looks he's got cash inside the 20 at the 17 that's maybe over the middle second down 10 to go hand off instead to Metcalf and he almost oh, fumbled and a recovery by BYU at the 15 yard line you cannot advance a fumble 
And boy, Richard Hobbs, number 57, was the man who made the hit. Boy, that's just, just a hit. A good drive going again, and that fumble. You just keep feeling that they're going to break something open, wide open, and, and get this offense rolling. Some pressure makes something happen. Jensen with a pitch back. It goes to O'Brien. Boy, he flies through the air and lands at the 20. Down and four now for BYU. Texas digging in, trying to play some big D. Jensen has a lot of time. He finds his receiver at the 30-yard line. It's complete to Brigham Young. Rush, Texas. He gets out of it. Jensen slides down at the 42-yard line. In. Jensen with that quick out go. pass. And right there on the play is Gerard Senegal. He's back in the football game. Norris in the backfield. Stafford will try the draw play. And it was knocked down. Intercepted. Intercepted by Futrell. Futrell at the five. Deflected at the line of scrimmage. And David Futrell picked it off. And all 270 pounds of him rumbled down to the five-yard line. To a field goal attempt. Let's take a look at it. He goes back. He wants a quick screen. Now, there it is. Osamuelo tips it. Futrell heads up. Now, you think there's a defensive nose guard making a play like that. What an alert play by him. And he runs with the ball. Foreman Faith, he wanted to go to BYU. Roll out Jensen. Tackled at about the three. Jensen on the roll out. Penetration. Nice play in there for a touchdown. Jensen. Randall. Tackle at the 15 yard. That swarming Texas defense led by Dwayne Duncan and Britt Hager. So to speak. From about the 22, it'll be for 32 yards. It's up and good. And it's almost like they're half a step away all the time. That ball hit off of one of the linemen for Texas. Somebody better get a handle on it. It's a free ball. Who got it? BYU, I think, got the football. There's a fight going down underneath it for it now. I'll tell you that, there's a lot of fighting underneath the bottom of that pile. The Cougars have made their own breaks tonight. And about 2,000 fans who came all the way from Provo, Utah, are up on their feet. It is recovered. Now watch the ball ricochet off the front man there. See it? He was trying to put it off to the right. It goes back to the left. Now uh, 86 uh, can't recover the ball there. Settleman can't get his hands on the ball. There's a wild scramble. Big penalty. Took him out of excellent field position back to midfield. Jensen. Has a man over the middle, there's Henry. The 30, inside the 30, and the big tight end pulls his way. Down to the Texas 25-yard line. They keep churning out great quarterbacks at BYU. Well, you can see him getting confidence as he goes here right now. Second down, seven. And he'll keep the ball, and he runs out of bounds inside the 20. Three-yard line, 33-yard attempt by Chitty. It's up, it's good. Boy, he is true, isn't he? Well, the one advantage you have when you play Brigham Young is though, they rarely sit on the ball. They don't run much uh, time off the clock due to that lack of a running game. So, for some reason, I just have a feeling Texas is going to win this ball game. Now, that's kind of odd. 12 points behind with two minutes to go in the third quarter. I just have a feeling they're going to make some big plays here. He's bringing an extra stand. <laughs> the ball is touched at the 30. They turned up the middle again, and that's for Texas. Metcalf in motion out of your picture. Again, same play. He dropped the football, and it was picked up by Rodney Rice. Another turnover. That's six turnovers now for Texas. It's in his hands. He catches it. He just wants to make big yardage out of the play instead of locking it away. See, he tried to run. Nobody touched him. He fumbled that ball without being touched. Flexed out for BYU. Jensen. Oh! Intercepted by Hager at the 35. Little end over end kick, and it'll die right at the five, and it's down by BYU at about the four yard line. Second down, seven. Darren Norris trying to find a way He's across the 15. He almost broke into the clear at the 17 yard line. It's Johnson in motion just outside of your picture. Stafford. Boy, he had Salanoa right in his face, and he was able to get back across the 10. For Salanoa, who has already deflected a pass, 
The Cougars lead the Longhorns 22 to 10 as we head for the final period at Memorial Stadium. Rays would only be about two out right now. Clark in motion, second down, needing 15. Draw play, Metcalf looking for running room. He skirts outside, and he runs right over the same man twice. Gets over the 15 to about the 17 yard. Low snap, waits, gets it off. And it ends up being a pretty good kick. O'Brien takes it at the 33. Look at all the orange jerseys. He eludes a couple low, however, and gets back down to the 40, maybe the 41-yard line. What a super gentleman. First down and 10. And off. Nice run inside by Peter Tui Pelotu. Second down and six. Ball on the 45-yard line. Jensen looking across the middle. He decides not to take the gamble, and it's an ankle-high tackle. Good for bringing him along. Here he comes again. Stafford throws it up for grabs. It's intercepted by Rodney Rice. BYU guessed right, came with a blitz, forced Stafford to throw it in a hurry. He didn't want to. Tony Jones was not completely turned around. Uh-oh. Oh, that elbow is out of there. Looks oh. like that el elbow is out of joint oh, for right. Rodney Rice. Mm -hmm. Go back. You'll see the backers coming from the outside. See him coming. They'll be pressure on him now by Futrell. Throws it up for grabs. And there he is. Let's see if he comes down. Where is it? Oh. oh, he put that hand down to stop it. That's, see, one thing that's amazing. First down and 10, Jensen. Play action. Across the middle, there's his big tight end, Darren Hanley again. He is tackled by Bell Edwards. We add to that here tonight. Oh. First down and 10. Jensen scrambling. Texas in pursuit, and he's pulled down from behind. Four 240-pound freshman. Needing 24 yards is Jensen. He's got plenty of time across the middle, and it's complete. A catch by Chuck Cutler. 9.50 remaining to play in the game. Yeah, Jensen, he needs seven. He's got more. Hanley at the 10 to the 5. Knocked out of bounds by Hager. Darren Hanley with his sixth reception of the night, but we may have holding on BYU. Holding. On the offense, the two wide receiver, and they moved him back to quarterback this spring. Good release. This time he catches it for a first down when he played at Memorial. He's got to throw again. This time he's got it outside. Gabriel Johnson, he gets a step at the 45, 47-yard line. First down. First down and 10 at the 47. Again, a quick out. Almost intercepted. Boy, that time. Kirk Davis smelled it coming all the way. Second down and 10. Draw play Metcalf. Good hole. 30, 25, down to the 20 yard line. Eric Metcalf brought down by Scott Peterson, but it's another one yard line. Norris is the only back set. He stays in the block. Kelly's in trouble, eludes some pressure, and it's caught. Oh, what a catch by Keith Cash. Second down, goal to go from the nine. Kelly with a puck pick this time. And the uh, whole interior line of BYU. That cap in motion. Third down, goal to go. Kelly running out of room. Throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted at the two-yard line. BYU with another turnover. Troy Long, a junior out of Sandy, Utah, with the interception, some kind of athlete. 6.31 left to play now. Running play by BYU and a pretty good run by Fred Whittingham. Texas, 8, BYU 1. And that has really been the difference in this game. BYU should be leading by more than 12 points, really, but the Texas defense has been simply outstanding tonight. BYU needs two yards. Miss tackle. Whittingham runs right through the arms of Jay with a 12-point lead. Third down, nine to go. Jensen, the Jensen with a quick handoff, and he may have made the first down. Well, Jensen just recognized that there was a gap in the middle of the Texas Longhorns defense there. Again, showing, showing his smartness, he just took it and did that one on his own. I don't know if that was a design play, but the rest of the people, take a look at the replay. The rest of the offensive line probably doesn't even know. See him as kind of a quarterback draw situation. He just stepped back and went forward with the ball. Well, the rest of it might have been pass blocking for some other play on that sideline. Incredible. 75% winning percentage. 
I remember talking to Bill Yoni. Third down and seven, the ball on the 33, 244 left to play. BYU by 12 points, and look at that hard running inside by Michael Bryan as he stretches to try to get to the 40-yard line. He won't make it. Thompson to Metcalf, he'll have some running room now over at the 25. Comes near sideline, and he almost got a clearing block at the 38. First and 10 at the 41. Straight drop back. To Tony Jones inside the BYU 40 to the 38 yard line. Huddle. Well, first down and 10 at 37. They pass outside to Gabriel Johnson. All right now, BYU and relief of Brett Stafford. Draw play Metcalf. 30. Down to the 25. Tries to get a step. Almost gets outside. He's and at the 22. 132 left to play. Shannon Kelly. Yeah! Nice catch by Keith Cash. First and goal from the eight. Texas has been down here a lot of times. Draw play. Metcalf going outside. He can't quite get there. Very switching. Jeff Bowen and Hatcher today after that game. And the uh, Brian Mills. Touchdown, Texas. A lot of fans have stayed here, Bill. They haven't deserved them. To overload the left side. And a good play by BYU. He snaps it with one second left on the play clock. Jensen kneels down. And now Texas needs to take the timeout as well. Maybe, maybe the scoreboard clock is wrong. Yeah, they don't, don't have any more timeout. Evidently, the scoreboard clock said they hit a timeout, and they certainly don't. the ball game. Well, that's a tough loss, loss for, for David McWilliam. That's a long walk for him tonight. Well, he's 0-2 now as the new head football coach at the University of Texas, Lavelle Edwards. So is UI. He has been voted coach of the year twice as his BYU Cougars have won their first game of the season. BYU now at 1-1 one one at the University of Texas at 0-2. Well, LaBelle's telling him, you know, you've got a way to go. Your program will get there. Good ball game. A well-played, clean football game. Hard, a hard-hitting football game. We'll be back with some final comments from Austin, Texas. Again, the final score, BYU 22 and Texas 17.